am Sister Maria Salidad and Portavaga. I'm working in the pro-life apostolate in our little parish, in our Lady of Lohan in Bagong Barrio, Caloacan, Philippines. And the Center for Life was established in September 8, 2009 by Father Luis Zapata and Mother Divine Mercy. And the main purpose of its establishment is to assist the pregnant mothers and girls in crisis and also in different difficult situations to protect and defend the unborn children. So I started my, uh, my service in the Pro-Life Apostolate in 2011. So since then, um, we have been helping around uh, 700 mothers and also thousands of babies. So the main, uh, the main programs and services that we are doing is first uh, the counseling, with the collaboration of uh, ob doctors, or medical doctors, and we open our clinic, a free prenatal for, for all the pregnant mothers and girls. And um, after the give birth, we also uh, provide milk and diapers for their babies. And uh, with the medical missions that we are giving to them, we also provide uh, medicines, vitamins, and even laboratories that they need during their pregnancy, and especially the ultrasound in order uh, for them to, to be excited with their babies when they see their babies. Since I work in the center, I have been uh, meeting uh, several mothers who really wanted to abort their babies. And thanks be to God, we were able to help them. And um, for those who want you know, their baby for adoption, so we are also trying to refer them to another institution for their uh, temporary shelter you know, until they give birth, but only few. So most of the mothers, when they give birth, they wanted to keep their baby. Those who are living in, uh, we also try to assist them uh, to live in the grace of God. So. Since then, we were able to have a, the couples to be married in the church, uh, more than 20. So most of our volunteers in the pro-life are those who are beneficiaries now of our programs as a thanksgiving for the service or for the program that we have. So they also serve other mothers. Together with the program uh, as a whole, we also give formation, uh, regular monthly formation. So we give the topics about uh, defending life. No? Uh, and last year, as we celebrate the 10th year's anniversary, we, we focus on the Gospel of Life of St. John Paul II. So for information and awareness. And also we send some four volunteers to study the natural family planning in order to help our mother. Mm, every first Friday uh, of the month, we have this uh, Eucharistic vigil and we pray for, for life around the world. You know? So we pray for the end of abortion. We also pray for our mothers, pray for our benefactor who support us in their own little way. For me, the center is like a, a miracle. You know? It's like a refuge also for all the mothers. and. Uh, how we survive, it's always in the, in the divine providence of God. Of course, we also want to, like, to sustain the family, you know? so we focus also on the formation of families, the husbands and wives, the children. So what, what is beautiful in that uh, apostolate was that like, we are serving from womb to tomb. You know? We also, the Family and Life Ministry also reaches out to the elderly and so we have a group of elderly persons that their main apostolate also is to pray. You know? They are devoted to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and they are very helpful also for our apostolate in the pro-life because we ask them to pray. So that's a, the, the wonderful thing. I would like to invite you to pray, uh, just to pray the Rosary for this purpose also around the world, no? and especially in our little community. 
to pray the rosary for to save the souls and to save the babies. And also, I would like to ask you to help us also uh, continue our work. Uh, we have many uh, volunteers to help us up in the you know, you know in many things. It's a lot. It's a lot of work, like in the medical mission, March for Life, all these things. No? But really, we need uh, we need more help in order to continue our program in the Philippines. Thank you so much. God bless.